Hello everyone, welcome back to the Six Gear channel. Today's review is going to be a really cool one. I got a 2022 F-150 Lariat uh, with the Power Boost motor. So really awesome spec on this truck. And without any further ado, let's take a look. So here is a 2022 F-150 Lariat with the Power Boost engine. So we'll start here with Lariat. Lariat, um, you get pretty much a lot of great options. So we'll start here with the lights. You get the full LED lights here, uh, daytime running lights. You get bending LED lights also at the front, LED fog lights as well at the bottom. And then here you've got some parking sensors that carry throughout the whole truck itself. Now, this being the sport pack, you do get the body color front bumper, and then you get this nice, beautiful carbonized gray grill with the horizontal lines and then also the vertical ones as well. You do also get some active grill shutters inside. This one here is equipped with the full 360 camera and that is pretty much it at the front here. Uh, you do got your recovery hooks and then you've got a carbon, uh, carbonized gray trim piece at the front. Now this being the power boost optioned motor, you don't hear this truck when it starts on. So when you start it on, you might not feel like it's on but you're able to put the truck in drive and you're able to go on the road. Now we'll come here also on the passenger side so you can see what it looks like. This does also have the equipped power running boards which we'll go over. Now with the new redesign in 2021, the hood also is a little bit different. You got some bulging here and then another piece there and then also kind of comes across here on the driver's side really nice and it looks good and pretty beefy. That's it for the front of this truck. Let's take a look at the power plant underneath this pickup. Okay, so diving into the power plant of this F-150, we have a 3.5 liter V6, producing 430 horsepower, 570 pound gear torque, made it to the 10 speed auto. This motor is great when it's equipped if you are looking for fuel economy. Um, I know it's only been out for about a year and a half, almost two years. Haven't heard too many problems with the motor itself, but it is great if you're looking for good fuel economy in a pickup. Now that is it underneath the hood of this F-150. Let's take a look around the truck. Alrighty, so let's dive around the F-150. We'll start here with the rim option. We've got 20 inch um, kind of like carbonized gray, matte gray rims. Uh, they're on Hankook Dino Pro uh, tires. You've got 275 60R20s for the tire size, and then we've got uh, the mud flap there. And I've got power boost also on the driver door. As we come over to the fender here, we've got Lariat, and then we've got a fender vent here as well. Mirror cap here is in rapid red, and then we also have that 360 camera down below with the LED light. We've got keyless entry here, so locking it, just pushing this button here, and then lock or unlocking it, just grab behind. We've got the key code here as well. Now the running board does come out once you've opened the door. So once you open the door, the running board will come out and the running board will go right back in. Now there also is another way to open the running board without opening the door. So there's this little kick plate here. Once you kick it with your foot, the running board will come out. And as you can see, it's extended to the back of the bed as well. Now the running board will stay like that until you kick it back in. So once you kick it, the running board will just insert itself back into the pickup truck. Now here is a side view of the F-150 Lariat. Um, as you can see, it's I truly like this uh, rapid red color. I think it looks great. Um, you've got the fuel door also on the driver's side. You have to click the switch inside to open the fuel door. This one does also have the FX4 package. And then here is a back look at the back rim and tire. Now that is pretty much it for the side of the F-150. Let's take a look at the rear of the truck. So coming into the back of the F-150, we can see that we've got, um, kind of looks similar to the back of the previous gen, F-150 stamp there, Ford. We've got some parking sensors also at the bottom, your hitch and receiver, and the tail lights on the Lariat are LEDs. So you can see here that you've got the LED. Now there is an option too here, which is awesome. Um, if you're using this truck for a lot, a lot for payload, the, you can have the indication on the light tell you, and it fills up, it tells you how much payload is left on the truck. So once you start filling the truck up with um, you know, people and payload, the light itself, the indication will kind of go up and show you how much room you have left. Great idea on Ford's part to actually put that there. Now we do have a button here to put down the tailgate. We have the light here, and then we have your rear camera as well. So we'll push this. Now with the Lariats, it's an option. 
With the tailgate step, you do get a power assisted uh, tailgate. This also does have the tailgate step by pushing this button here. You can have the tailgate step out. And voila, you've got this nice railing that Ford has given you to have easier access into the bed. You've got Ford added parts here in the tailgate. On every tailgate, you've got clamp hooks here. So what you can do is if you're maybe sawing something or maybe need to clamp something to the tailgate, you've got some slots here to help clamp as opposed to ruining your whole tailgate by clamping the whole tailgate itself. You've got that too. Now coming into the back here, this does have the exterior work surface, which has measurements in metric and imperial. We've got some slots here to put some stuff, uh, phone, pencils, that kind of thing. Um, we've also got some tie down hooks on each side. Now this one here, being the power boost, does have the equipped 240 volt plug, which is awesome being in the power boost. And then you have a ton of more plugins here. Like you can plug in a ton of crap back here, to be honest. You have the exterior lights as well, which turn on. So you get two there, well, one in each corner and then one up there. Turn that off. Then you've got some more cargo clamps as well. This has the tunnel, uh, hard tunnel cover, which I always recommend to get. And then this also has the spray and bed liner. Now what you can do with the key fob, you can actually bring the, the tailgate up by pushing the button twice. So you push the button twice with having a power tailgate, you can actually have the tailgate go up. And it just shuts just like that. Now, one cool feature when you do get the 360 camera is you also do get a bed mounted camera. So right there. So you can see into the bed when you are uh, maybe backing up and you need to see if you're gonna be going into maybe a fifth wheel or just in general, if you wanna look back there. So right now the truck has shut off um, and that is pretty much it for the back of the F-150. Let's take a look at the back seats. Alrighty, so getting into the back of the F-150, we are greeted with a black and kind of dark brownish red interior. So really nice, all soft touch material. You've got the handle here as well. You've got the window switch. Um, everything looks good. You've got the added cup holder here too. This one has the B&O sound system in it as well. And as we come into the center here, we've got that kind of red piping carry throughout the seat. But as far as the um, that red piping is, that's pretty much it, it's all black. Now the seats themselves are very comfy and plush. This one also does have the full panoramic moonroof, which is awesome. The seats also do fold up and then you've got the lock storage compartment underneath the mat here as well. And then as we come into the center here, you've got heated seats, 12 volts, and then you've got some other charging capability down here, uh, lightning, USB, and then a 110. And then also, like I said, the 12 volt is at the top there. You've got the vents back here, and then you've got also the cup holders as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the back. You also have a ton of room back here. Being the flat floor in the center here gives you a ton of more room for the third passenger. That is pretty much it for the back of this F-150. Let's take a look at the cockpit. Okay, coming into the front cockpit view of the F-150. Start here with the door panel. We've got that brown reddish material here on the top. We've got some beautiful, nice kind of brushed aluminum look here. Window controls. We've got the lock and unlock and memory seating up here as well. We've got some padding here too. And then some storage down below. Bang and Olsen system is here too. Now, as we come into the seats here, we do have the upgraded Bang & Olufsen, so you got the speakers in here. And then as we come down, we've got that red piping and then the perforated leather seats. Nothing here on the door sill, but we do have your automatic controls down here for the truck, for the seat. Coming into the uh, left here, we have your light controls, tailgate light. We can unlock the gas cap by just pushing this button. Parking brake, you can adjust the pedals as well. Your mirror lights, and then you can actually bring down the tailgate here too. Now we'll get into the interior, but you do have that kind of brushed aluminum look all in the dash as well. That's it before we get in, let's take a look at the interior. Alrighty, so getting into the interior of the F-150, um, with Lyria, you do get this beautiful, nice display here, which is very configurable. Um, once you change the drive mode, which we'll get into, we'll start with the steering wheel. We've got uh, your cruise control, your adaptive cruise, volume control, uh, voice command, and this here will control the front infotainment. So this, we're in calm mode. We can go to your trip fuel, your truck info. Uh, you can go to towing as well, navigation, phone, audio, and settings. Uh, my view, I have like the calm screen there. You can do driver assistance. You can configure some of the, you know, different screens you want in there as well. But for the most part, um, it even tells you your uh, fuel economy. So your average is 11.5 here. And then your off-road setting, which I like. I think it's pretty cool. But pretty configurable, 
configurable, like I said. Um, I usually leave it in the comm screen. So that's the front infotainment there. By We can change it by using this. You've got call hang-up, call pickup, and then your tuning knobs. Your window stock here for your wipers is on this side. And that is pretty much it for the front, uh, in the front of the driver. Now, as we come up to the interior here at the top, we can see we've got some of that red brownish interior, uh, nice leather here with some stitching. We've got the B&O system here with some storage. And then we have um, that color carry throughout. But like I said, we got that brushed aluminum look here, which I think looks great. It helps split up a little bit of the, uh, the black and that red. Um, and we've got now the 12 inch screen here, which is standard on Lariat. Uh, we've got some buttons up here too. This here will, uh, you can use, this is all your outlets are on or off. This is your camera angle here, so this is the front. What we can do is here, I can show you the bed camera. So there's the bed camera. Like I said, you can see what's going on in the back of the bed. And then you get your 360 camera, which is there. And then you can change the angles of here, if you, here over if you want. This truck will park itself as well, which is pretty incredible. Hazards, trash control, and then your hill descent control. So now let's get into the radio. Uh, or the screen rather we've got two different kind of setups here we've got audio here and then nav you can actually hit that little arrow there and then it can move the navigation over here if you'd like um, and then you've got your audio your phone your navigation your favorites and then you've got your features as well so this has got your pro onboard power which is pretty awesome you've got your zone lighting your running boards so zone lighting is pretty cool you can actually turn on all your exterior lights at once um, or it's you know, depending on which lights you want, like your front and your rear. So that's pretty much the screen. There's a ton of to go over, but I'm just trying to touch points on the majority. You've got all your hotkeys down below as well. Pro trailer backup is over here. This is your upper glove box. So you can just click that and your upper glove box opens up. Down below here is, um, you've got your trailer brake controller. This here is your drive mode. So one, pushing this in, you can lock your rear differential. Now there's different modes here with the F-150. You've got normal, you've got tow haul, eco sport and then as we go to the right here we've got slippery deep snow and sand mud and ruts and then we've got rock crawl which is pretty incredible on a pickup truck like that but i do like the kind of animation they give i think it's it's good it's actually high quality and it looks pretty awesome now coming down below here um you've got your two high four high four auto and that kind of thing dual zone climate you've got your volume and tuning knobs here um, you've got your climate control, like I said, heated and cooled seats. They've actually put the heat steering wheel button in here, which is awesome. And then you've got your defrost and that kind of thing you can all play with down there. This does not have a wireless charging on this one, unfortunately. You've got USB and USB-C. You can actually shut this and it's got that brushed aluminum look. Now this does have the interior work surface, which I'll show you and I think it's awesome. So what you do is this shifter actually feels nice. You push this little button here. The, bu the shifter will go down only when you're in park, obviously. And then what you can do is you can move this and have this come down and it creates like a, a work surface here which you can put your laptop you can put a bunch of other things here and you can work eat do whatever you want but very great option i'm really happy for did this people do use these trucks to um to work and then you've got your plugs here too once you need to start charging now coming into the center here the console we can lift this up and you've got a deep console here so you've got um some room here You've got a ton of stuff. You've got USB connections in there, USB, USB-C. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, for the interior. This one, like I said, does have the full panoramic moonroof. So you do have um, your controls up here to you know, open it, close it. And then you've got the visor here to put your glasses in. That is pretty much it, everyone. Um, I think this interior is probably one of the better interiors in the pickup truck lineup. I think it looks amazing. It feels amazing. And um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below of this interior. Let's go out and talk about the price. All right, so the price of this, everyone, is about 81,000 Canadian dollars. Um, I do agree it is a lot of money for a pickup truck. I understand the market for pickup trucks is very high right now. Um, but I think what you're getting in a pickup truck is awesome. You're getting a pretty much fully loaded pickup truck with a hybrid motor that has great fuel economy, can tow a lot, has great payload. Um, and you're not gonna just pick up uh, F-150 Lariat power boost if you don't really know what the truck is. But um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below of this pickup truck, and we will see you in my next video. Cheers.